Hi, Aaron Milburn here, the country head of Pepper New Zealand, and I'm delighted to be with you, albeit virtually, at the New Zealand Banking Innovation Summit for 2021. And what a period of time we've had. What I wanted to talk to you today is not only about innovation in the banking space in the New Zealand market, but specifically around non-conforming lending. I want to take you on a journey of what we have found as Pepper New Zealand as we entered the market post-COVID and the innovation that we're looking to introduce and challenge the industry so that more Kiwi families can avail themselves of home lending now and into the future. So why did we come to New Zealand? Well, we came to New Zealand off the back of one fact, and that was that in 2019, our research showed that 23% of Kiwis that had applied for a home loan had been declined. That's a really big statistic. So let's think about that. If we lined up 10 Kiwi families, effectively a quarter of them were never given the opportunity for home lending when they could have been because the alternative was never offered. We've got to change that. We've got to use both innovation and education to bring more Kiwi families to be able to be successful and use financial alternatives to achieve their goals. So what were the main reasons for that? Let me, let me talk you through them. In 2019, the main reasons that families in New Zealand were turned down by main banks was a lower deposit. There was unusual income. A lot of self-employed income where main banks were unable uh, to use that income to help families achieve their goals. Debt consolidation. There was a number of customers that flagged to us that when they went to their main bank, tried to consolidate debt, be it from life events or just accumulation of debt over a period of time, they were turned down. And finally, poor credit history. And a number of those families, it wasn't due to going to the race course and losing all their money in their pay each week. This was because they had undertaken a life event. One of their family members had become ill. They had taken out credit cards that had to stop working to care for that family member. When that family member had recovered or was in remission and that other party had gone back to work they had that debt that they needed to consolidate to get back on the ladder and no one was there to support them. Almost 40% of those who were rejected were never made aware of an alternative. So let's think about that. 40% of the families that could have been offered an alternative to get into a better position were never offered the opportunity. Now that is an opportunity for us. That is an opportunity for us as an industry to change. That is an opportunity for us to come together as an industry to try and help those families succeed where currently they are not being offered that option. And again, it's irrelevant whether we talk about Pepper New Zealand or any other lender. I come at this from an industry standpoint where it's up to us to help them. Now three in ten of those people waited at least a year to try and get lending. A year. Now I don't know about you but the market moves a hell of a lot in a year and that then further puts pressure on those families that are looking for solutions. And just over one in 10, they never had the courage to come back and try and apply again. Why do I use the word courage? A big part of my job in New Zealand is to talk to those families who were never offered an alternative. And what they say to me is, it took immense amount of courage for us to go and ask for help for our bank. And when we were turned down, we were embarrassed. We didn't know where to turn, and so we did nothing. And that's something we need to change and work together on. So, so what's happened since? What's happening now? What's happening today? 
Well, the 2021 New Zealand Reef RFI data, not refi data, RFI Council research shows 12% of people currently this year that have applied for a home loan have been turned down that were in that survey group. That's from January to April. 12% have been turned down. And the reasons have changed. The reasons have completely changed. So the number one reason that those families now have been turned down is because the property did not meet the criteria of the lender that they chose. The second is unusual income. And again, self-employed. Now I don't know about you, but when someone takes the courage to go and be self-employed, and follow their dreams and aspirations, they should be supported. And what we're seeing in the RFI research and the data is that they are not when it comes to home lending. The third was an insufficient deposit. And the fourth was they intended to service the mortgage themselves. So the reasons have changed. But what are some of the other findings? What else are we seeing out in the marketplace at the moment in New Zealand? Well, borrowers now are considering up to 3.9 lenders when they look for home lending solutions versus just two and a half six years ago. And you might say, well, that's a fantastic stat. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. What does that actually mean? Well, what it means is that there's far more consumer choice in New Zealand than ever before. There is more product. There is more innovation. There are different ways and different lenders like Pepper New Zealand who are entering the market to offer new solutions and technology platforms that simply haven't been available before. So there's more choice. Non-conforming borrowers, and again, let's not confuse non-conforming with credit impaired. If we look at Pepper Money, over 80% of our borrowers are completely clean credit. Non-conforming means non-conforming to the standards of main bank credit policy. And the elasticity of that policy determines the size of the non-conforming market in any jurisdiction that non-conforming is held. So non-conforming borrowers specifically are more likely and more comfortable to look outside of their main banks when they look for home lending. And let's think about those self-employed borrowers again. They are more likely to look at different options when they come to look at their options for home lending. Faster pre-approval and advisor recommendation is the third highest reason or reasons that people will consider more lenders when they're looking for that solution. Rate is largely not the most important determining factor. That's a bit of a myth I think that we need to bust. What we are seeing is customers need reassurance. Certainly in our space, they need the ability to feel that we are going to partner with them to help them with their home lending needs. So let's think about that, let's unpack that. And it's great to have all these statistics, but, but what are we gonna do about it? How are we gonna change the game? How are we as lenders in New Zealand going to help more Kiwi families get into homes? Because surely that's why we're all in it, to help more families enter more homes. Well, let me tell you what we're gonna be doing. And let me tell you what, we would like to really start to lead in the New Zealand market, and that is product solutions. We are putting a lot of effort into working with different consumer groups in New Zealand to create new products that solve for the needs of the market for today. And still, we still see mortgage products being sold today that we sold to, our, albeit at different rates, for those of you who will know, uh, but the same product, largely. You know, true innovation is still lacking in our industry. 
not only in New Zealand, but across the Tasman Sea into Australia. Product innovation is lacking. We're going to change that. We are undertaking a global search for new product initiatives and ideas that we are going to bring into the New Zealand market for New Zealand families. We're also going to use those insights and the studies around that to ensure that the target markets that those products are designed for are right. We're going to look into culture and make sure that we're solving for the needs of the different cultures uh, within New Zealand. We're also going to look at the design. We're going to ensure that the products that we are selling today are designed for the needs of the consumers for tomorrow. Consumers now in the New Zealand market are starting to change. And so we need to be not only my organisation, but all of us as a whole at the forefront of that innovation and change and then the delivery. And what do I mean by delivery? Well, how does a customer or a family access that product? Because they don't want to do it in the traditional way. The data and the research shows that digital capability and technology is going to be key as we move forward in our industry in the years to come. Now we overlay that with the new compliance frameworks that are coming into place and digitization has never been more important. In fact, some are call, calling it the fourth industrial revolution being digitization. We saw during the COVID pandemic how digitization could be used quickly to cover the gaps when we weren't able to move around and we shouldn't lose the edge and the growth that that gave us. If we go backwards from that, I think personally we lose a real edge uh, and that would be a shame. So what have we done specifically? Well, let me tell you about a couple of things that we brought into the New Zealand market, again to help more Kiwi families. We bought the pepper product selector. What that effectively does is take between 10 and 14 questions and helps an advisor put a customer into the right product first time. It takes literally two minutes to do that and it enables that family to feel that there's a solution available to them. It has been widely regarded by the advisor that use it as a key tool now in their customer journey and conversations. It's about helping people and that's what's at the forefront of our digital change. We also bought the first end-to-end -end submission platform into New Zealand for advisors and we will continue to build out in that. We'll continue to put innovation into the platforms that were first to market in New Zealand as the digitization of the industry continues. But it needs work. We need the valuation industry to change and come on the journey with us. Valuations are taking too long in New Zealand. We need to understand how we work together to simplify that. And the more digitization we do together, the more families we can help because the, seam the journey will become seamless. So what else are we doing? Well, we're going to continue with that product innovation. All of us will be looking at what that means moving forward. The world's changing. The different ways of earning income, such as the gig economy, is going to drive the way we credit assess and look at credit risk moving forward. We're at the forefront of that change. We're also passionate about the education of advisors. In our opinion, the advisor percentage share is way too low in New Zealand and it's not driving enough consumer choice because consumers just don't know what their choice is if they're turned down by their chosen lender. So we're partnering with advisors, we're partnering with the aggregation groups and we're partnering with industry to ensure that consumers understand what advisors do on a daily basis. How important they are to the fabric of New Zealand finance and home lending. And how advisors can show you a number of options so that you aren't one of the statistics that I spoke about and you miss out and you don't have the courage to come back 
when you really do have a solution available to you and your family. And then we're going to improve the customer experience. We're going to continue that journey. The statistics show that there's a real wave of emotion as you go through the home loan journey. The elation that someone's able to help you and that offer letter you get from the bank. To the confusion of the process, we live and breathe it on a daily basis, but our consumers don't. They've got the boxes packed, the kids' teddies ready to go, they know what bedroom they're moving into, and the communication breaks down, and nerves set in, and anxiety sets in. And then you move back up into elation when you get the keys. We want to, we want to smooth that journey. We don't want to see that trough. We want to make sure that customer experience across the board is there and it's paramount that it's first class. And I've got a bit of a challenge for us. I've got a bit of a challenge for us as an industry. And the challenge is to work together. And the challenge is innovation, in my opinion, doesn't need to come from technology alone. Innovation can come from change of thought. Innovation can come from the way we do things and the processes and challenging the accepted. It's about having a can-do approach, but balanced against the credit risk and the compliance frameworks we have, but above all being real and helping as many customers and New Zealand families as we possibly can. And helping those where they choose to go to their main bank versus an advisor. What we need to do as an industry, I believe, is if a customer walks into one of our branches as an industry and they can't get help, then they're referred out potentially to an advisor that can offer a solution that their chosen institution does not. Not to send them out the door with a no and no next steps on how they can avail of that solution. That's unacceptable. I get competition and it's healthy, but what we are all in it at the end of the day to do is help more families. And I challenge anyone with a branch network to link that branch up with an advisor within that locality so that when they cannot help, they refer that on. So for me, the future is super bright in New Zealand. As a proud Kiwi, I want to see us, as an industry, support more and more New Zealand families in the years ahead. Advisor usage will drive that, but it won't drive it alone. We need to partner together and be hand in glove so that digitization across our industry, not just in pockets, makes it seamless for more Kiwi families to avail of home lending in our great country. And so with that, I thank you for listening. I look forward to partnering with you in the future as our industry continues to evolve, grow and become even better in the years ahead. And I wish you a fantastic rest of the conference. Thank you very much.